Magic users in Diablo have always had a certain visual appeal to them, from their ability to cast wondrous and powerful spells, ranging from weather control blizzards to humongous fireballs that just detonate entire battlefields. These high risk, high reward style of heroes harness potent elemental magic, making every combat feel like it's on the edge. What's up guys, War here, and today we're gonna take a look at Diablo 4 and the Sorcerer class. The Sorcerer class is a master of magic in Diablo. They use powerful spells imbued with raw elemental power to take command on the battlefield to crush any challenge that comes before them. The Sorcerer has ultimate control over the raw elemental magics to tear enemies apart. So be prepared to become the ultimate Sorcerer of the Mystic Arts. The Sorcerer is a glass cannon, but a very fun class to play with well-developed skills based around the elements of cold, lightning, and fire. Their skills are powered by mana, or mana, a resource that generates over time while in battle. A resource that hasn't changed much from the previous Diablo titles, it's pretty much been every Sorcerer or Wizard type class is going to have mana to help power each and every spell that you're going to cast throughout the game. Mana is what the sorcerers use to conjure powerful spells like Incinerate, which channels a beam of fire burning enemies to ash. When it comes to the weapons the sorcerers have access to, they've always been limited throughout the series in Diablo. In Diablo 4, sorcerers will have access to daggers, wands, staffs, and focuses. In previous versions of the series, they've been having access to swords, sometimes two-handed weapons, but it's always been a limited uh, you know, selection of weapons that you could use for the wizard. Staffs being the main weapon which you will wield for massive damage over the traditional wand and or dagger with a focus in the offhand. A lot of this will be dependent on legendary powers in Diablo 4, but in general, staffs are going to be your go-to weapons for sorcerers in Diablo 4. Along with staffs, sorcerers have a unique class mechanic called the enchantment system, which allows you to turn up to two active skills into powerful passive effects. This will make the playstyle of your sorcerer truly unique in Diablo 4 and truly unique from any other player that is playing the sorcerer class. You can place skills into two locations, an active skill slot and an enchantment slot. Skills placed in an enchantment slot can no longer be used as an active skill, but the character gains a secondary bonus power instead. Secondary powers are passive effects such as ball lightning. So when you have the crackling energy effect from it and it would form, ball lightning forms instead, which means you gain 25 mana when you move near it. Or you could add something a little bit, bit, bit more offensive, such as Frostbolt. Putting Frostbolt in the enchantment slot will give you a lucky hit bonus where your direct damage has a 100% chance to chill an enemy at 30%. The elemental slots, although small, add powerful abilities to customize your sorcerer build however you choose. When choosing what skills to put into those enchantment slots, we must first decide what kind of element we'll be focusing on for our sorcerer builds. The sorcerer has three powerful elements to choose from, cold, lightning, and fire. Each element strong in its own regard, but brings a certain playstyles along with it. Starting with the cold element, Cold abilities throughout Diablo have always been focused on crowd control, dictating how a fight happens, whether it be slowing enemy movement down with a blizzard or completely freezing them solid with frost bolts. Speaking of being frozen in place, let's talk about lightning, the sorcerer's second elemental choice. Over the years of Diablo, lightning has typically fell short when it comes to raw damage output, but when it, when it lacks in damage, it makes up for in speed. Lightning spells are fast attacks or they can create defensive interferences to your enemies such as teleport, transforming you into pure lightning where you become unstoppable and surge to the target location, dealing 25% damage all around you when you arrive. So even though you're not dealing as much damage with lightning, the defensive capabilities to be able to dodge attacks and get from one place to another unhindered is unmatched when it comes to elemental skills in Diablo 4. Last and certainly not least is my favorite element, fire. Fire is one of the most powerful elements for the sorcerer, typically dealing the most amount of damage, but at a cost. For these strong fire spells, it costs a lot of mana or mana to cast them, which has always been a bit difficult to play throughout the series. To counter this, we do need to make up for with the right amount of resource cost reduction. 
With that said, you have spells like Fireball or Incinerate, where you channel a beam of fire, burning your enemies at a start of 36%, with damage increases by 18% per second, up to a total of 71% damage to each enemy in our beam of fire. Picking which element you would like to use will help determine the kind of playstyle you will have for the Sorcerer. The Sorcerer in Diablo 4 looks very fun and potentially one of the strongest classes to use. With a glass cannon approach amongst the three different elements, I think either way you slice it, you're gonna have a very powerful class with the cost of being squishy. If you mix great defensive abilities on your skill bar with a few potential powerful offensive attacks, I don't see how the sorcerer will be defeated. Plus, if you like a very colorful and impactful visual experience, then the sorcerer is gonna be the right class for you. If you guys have enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and comment down below what your thoughts are on the Sorcerer class coming to Diablo 4. And as always, stay gaming, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.